All right, let's get it back into some business here. Here's your typical performa for a house that's, uh, what is our pay, purchase price? 130000 and we're looking at $26,000 down, 3900 closing costs prepaid and prepaid. So you're looking about thirty grand to get into it. 104000 is your loan amount. Four and a quarter percent, probably more like four and a half today. Just it, it went up quicker than we could keep these slides updated. Uh, so your payment is maybe $20 more than what you see in here. Payment's $832. You got your management of $114, and now you have a, a $946 total payment and management. So if you're getting $1275 to $1375, you have three to four hundred dollars a month positive on this property. And just a typical, it's pretty good in, uh, return on your investment. And so you know, and it, and once again, like I said, you're going to be paying. It's going to be paid off. Uh, if you did a 15-year mortgage on this, it would be paid off. At, it would probably be about a break even, and then it would be paid off in 15 years obviously. Here's a $150,000 purchase, a little bit more down, uh, but you're still your cash to close is not that much more. It's about $33,900. Uh, loan amount is $120. This is with only 20% down. Uh, if you can swing the 25%, do the 25%, you'll get a better interest rate. And once again, your payment's going to be about a little over 1000 just under 1100 and we're getting for a purchase price of about thirteen fifty to fifteen hundred, with it leaning more towards the fourteen fifteen hundred range right now for for that. And that's about one percent of the value of the property per month, which is a pretty good return. And so a lot of investors are looking for that one percent return per month. One hundred seventy-five thousand dollar purchase. You're looking at about thirty-nine all in. Loan amount one hundred forty. Total payments. Our twelve and management plus management are about twelve twenty seven, and so you're going to see definitely positive cash flow on that as well, several hundred dollars a month. What my suggestion is take that positive cash flow and pay it towards the balance, and when you'll pay this thing off a lot quicker. And then two hundred thousand, which is a good sweet spot for me, is because it, you know, I get a better quality of tenant, and they have a tendency to stay longer, and uh, so I'm looking at. Um, Though I don't get as good a cash return, uh, but I do get I do get longer tenants. So you know turnover costs money, and so I think it balances out better. Plus they usually take better care of the property because they're usually executives or you know but a little bit more um, responsible demographic. Okay, so let's jump into being an investor. You know we enjoy leverage and appreciation, and you know. Question is, a lot of people don't buy at the bottom of the market because they don't know where the market's going to start appreciating. But don't wait for it to peak out to start buying. Buy now that the, that we know that there's appreciation going on. We know that the that the prices have gone up and are continuing to go up. And I can show you statistic after statistic that shows, especially here in Austin, we don't have we're not developing enough lots to keep uh, keep up with it. In fact, in that newspaper article, I'll grab it from the statement here. They said uh, one of the economists said that they you need to have you you for every for every job um, for every job there will be two starts. Uh, so every new high paying job there should be two home starts. And it said that there we should be at that clip we should be uh, building eighteen thousand homes a year. We're only building ninety eight hundred right now. So. It's, once again, housing shortage. What happens when the shortage prices go up? And that's what you want to capitalize on. So you got low cost of money and prices going up. And easier to get financing than you've been able to get in years. Uh, you know, it's time to jump in. One of the things we have to also understand, though, is that, that there's been a limitation on how many investor properties one can own. There's only a few companies out there that will go to uh, beyond four properties. Uh, one of the ones is our sponsor for this webinar, which is Prime Lending. They go up to 10 properties. So you go to, back to that investment retirement scenario, 10 properties in 10 years, pay them off in 20, you're going to be financially free. It's not hard to do, and you, you just need to know who to connect with, and that's hopefully going to be me, connect with you and, and help you get through this process.